Room. Hey guys, welcome to Squadron TV. I am here live today in Chattanooga at the ModelCon 2024, the IPMS contest. And uh, you may have uh, it was just vendors setting up, uh, the club members doing a little bit of shopping, a few customers. But today, as you can see, this place is full, got a lot going on. So I'd like to show you what we've got going on here today. We'll start by checking out the model contest because this is, of course, uh, one of the most exciting parts of any contest is getting to see uh, the model kits on display. There's several different categories, aircraft, armor, ships, cars, uh, figures, science fiction, all sorts of different things. And one thing that is uh, you, not unique to this show but different than some IPMS shows is the the way that they do their judging here, they use the what is referred to as gold, silver, bronze uh, method of judging here, as opposed to a traditional first, second, or third place. And what that means in a nutshell is you are not competing necessarily against other modelers, but instead you're competing against yourself based on a criteria of how well you built the model, how well you painted it. And depending on how well you construct your model, based on this list of criteria, you might get a gold, you might get a silver, or you might get a bronze. So uh, everybody's got a chance to uh, to place in this show, and you can use that uh, feedback, if you will, as a way to uh, increase your own skills. You know, if you get a bronze, well, you you know try to improve your skills. Maybe you get a silver next time. If you get a silver you want to go for the gold the next year. So it's a it's a pretty neat way of doing the judging. I like it. Um, so it's just uh, the way they do things here. So you can check out this. And by the way, I got my good buddy Jonathan Godwin here uh, running this camera for me. You might have seen him on the show with me a few weeks ago showing off his model room. So I really appreciate it, Jonathan. So we'll check this out and see what all the models look like here at 12 o'clock the models have to be entered to the contest uh, so if you're not here by 12 you're, you're not getting judged today so judging is in full uh, swing right now and they will be announcing the winners somewhere in the ballpark of four o'clock today And it's always interesting to see at every show, whether it's this one or perhaps your local show, there's always different areas of interest and you're always going to see something unique or something perhaps that you've never seen before. And especially nowadays, uh, like all these figures we're looking at, nowadays with 3D printing, there's a lot of unique things you'll see that you may have never seen before you know just because there's not a plastic model kit of something doesn't necessarily mean anymore that you're not going to see it at a model contest and like we've been talking about the last couple of weeks on our wednesday night show talking about those uh, gateway drugs as we've been referring to it as we've got a good turnout of gundam models here this year so I like to see this. This is what a lot of the younger uh, crowd of modelers are into. So it's nice to see a, a nice turnout of this here at this show.
Love the twin Mustang there. That's one of my favorite aircraft. Very interesting. Always fun when you come to these shows, whatever your favorite aircraft or car or ship or whatever your favorite subject is, it's always fun to walk in the room and spot your favorites. And that, of course, is one of mine. And I bet my son is at home watching right now, and his favorite aircraft is F-14. That was his first model kit that I had him uh, had for him was an F-14, a 72 scale one. So there you go, son. There's a 48 scale F-14B. So there you go. There's a quick look at a model contest at a show. Now let's have a look at the other major part of a contest, which is the vendor hall. And here at this show, the vendor hall and the contest happens to be in the same room. They've got a pretty large venue here, so it works out that way. But at every show, the vendor area is always something fun to look through. You've got vendors like us at Squadron, we sell new kits, we sell new items, whatever the newest thing is, that's what I'm bringing with me. But at these shows, you get guys that are selling out of their personal stash. Uh, you get, there's some companies that their bread and butter business is buying collections and bringing them to show. So you never know what you're gonna find. If there's an old discontinued kit uh, from years and years ago that you want, you might find it here. And you just start looking through the vendor area. A lot of these kits have not been available for years. You, just, you never know what you're gonna find. Thank you. So let's take a walk back here and I'll introduce you to a good buddy of mine. You may remember several weeks ago on our Wednesday night stream, I had uh, two of our squadron group officers with us, David Doyle and Dan Bell. Well, David happens to be here today. And he's selling books that he writes and having a good time and I'd like to introduce you to him yet again. So this is David Doyle. Hey, Bill. Yep. Y'all enjoying the show? We are having a great time. How about yourself? I'm having a great time. All those guys at home wish they were here. Yeah. Well, I, so I'm doing this stream because a lot of these guys perhaps have never been to a model show. So we've shown what a contest looks like. Um, talking about in the vendor area, vendors like myself, we sell new items. Um, authors, he comes, if you buy a book from David, he'll sign it for you. Um, a lot of these garage kit companies, they're here selling their kits, and then a lot of guys are selling stash. So you never know what you're going to find at these shows. Um, you might find something that you've been looking for for a long time that's just not available. So you just never know. So you get to meet some really great folks at these shows and, and share ideas. And yep. Techniques and trips. And, and just reminisce about the good old days or the good days that are coming. Absolutely. Well, for me, a lot of my best friends, I get to see them once or twice a year. Exactly. And, and it's at these shows. You know, you, I get to see you maybe twice a year at nationals and a lot of times at this show. So right. it, it's always good to see see buddies catch up have a good time maybe get some dinner at night so um, there's lots of reasons to come to shows but uh, you know that's just another reason all right david it's good to talk to you good to see you so as you can see there's just a lot going on lots of people uh, this particular venue is we're at the Chattanooga Convention Center in downtown Chattanooga, Tennessee. Uh, it's just a really nice place. This club puts on a good show. Uh, for us, it's the first show of the year. It's just a lot of a lot of fun, a good time. So we'll make our way over here to our squadron booth and we'll check in with what we've got going on. I'll show you a couple of new kits. And I will show you one kit in particular that we it's not for sale yet, but I got my early copy. I've been talking about it for the last couple of weeks.
They're gold. So this is our booth. My dad, Russ, is here with me and my brother, Jared. We've got a lot going on here, but we, for this show, we try to bring the newest of the new. Uh, so things like the Magic Factory Corsair. We've got those here. You'll be able to check that out. We bring the newest of our new books. We got our hats back in stock. Those are here. And then this is what I'm excited to show. Uh, I got my first copy of this, the USS Gerald R. Ford kit and 700 skill from Magic Factory. And this coming Wednesday night, our live stream at 9 o'clock, we are going to open this up. And I've got a couple of buddies uh, that also have an early copy that I sent them of this kit. We're going to go through this kit uh, together Wednesday night, show it off, see what it's all about. And uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. So make sure to check that out Wednesday night at 9 o'clock. Uh, we're going to go through this. It's just a really well done kit. I've already taken all the parts out of the bags and I've started going through it, taking pictures. So we'll dive into this in detail on Wednesday night. But just really excited to have that and looking forward to getting this to you guys. So if you hadn't got your pre-order in for it yet, make sure to get your pre-order in over at squadron.com. Uh, but like I said, we just we bring the newest stuff to the show. Um, we can't bring everything, obviously, but we do uh, do the best we can. Got my big Dora gun barrel on display here. Everybody uh, is loving to see that, referring to it as baseball bat or whatever because of how big it is. But this is what we bring to this show. Um, it's just it's a good time. If you guys can't, have, if you guys have never been to an IPMS show, make sure to find one in your area or close to you. Uh, you can go to the IPMS website. It's IPMSUSA.org. And they've got a list of all the shows in the country uh, for the whole year. So you can find your closest one. And I would, you know, I would tell you, go to one. It's just a lot of fun. So that's all I've got for now. Jonathan's going to pan the show, uh, give you kind of an overview out here for another minute or two. And I really appreciate you guys tuning in. I'll see you Wednesday night at 9 o'clock, and we'll check out that Ford kit. Until then, take it easy. I don't work here.